Today, we're going to look at the main tag and how we're going to use it inside of our web pages. Now, the main tag doesn't look like a tag when you put it on the screen. So it's not like a heading tag or a paragraph tag that's going to style our information in any way, shape, or form. However, we use it as an organizational tag, and that is to group and organize our information. If we think of a standard web page, we see things like a header, and if we scroll down, maybe a footer, and a lot of web pages have a sidebar, maybe two sidebars off to the side. And so when a search engine comes in or when a website browser that is used for someone who's maybe visually impaired comes in, if they're looking for the main content, they can't tell just looking at the site. If we can group the main purpose of our website and ignore all the stuff that's going to stay the same basically from page to page, things like our header and our footer and stuff like that, then we've provided some valuable insight to the browser who's using the website, whether it's because they're using a screen reader or they're a search engine or just for us to help us organize our own content. So let's look at how we're going to do this real quick. Inside my web page editor, you can see I've got a header section, I've got some content and then I got a footer down below. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first just put a couple of blank lines here after my header. And this is just more of a visual separation so I can see it. The web browser is not going to care. And if I save this and reload my website, you're not going to see any difference at all because your web browsers ignore white space and white space. Remember is anything like new lines or tab characters or spaces, anything like that. I'm then going to add a main section. My editor is giving me my closing main, so I'm going to just cut that. And go to the end and place it. So now I've got some visual separation that helps me as just an editor be able to look at this. I say, okay, I see what I'm doing here. And this is a huge benefit for me. If I save this, I don't have any changes right now at all to the web page when I reload it. Because like I said, by default, it doesn't add any styling type of information at all. Now, however, we can change the styling if we want to. So I'm going to put a CSS comment in here, then add a section for main. And specify my width to be 80%. Margin is going to be auto. And what the auto will do is it'll automatically center my content box. And I'm going to give it a white background color because black text on white is the easiest to read. Now when I reload, you can see that I have in here a white box, it's only 80% as wide as my whole browser window. And it is that box is centered inside my bigger HTML page. I can scroll down and you'll notice that my header and footer, because they are not inside the main, are not shrunk down like that. And I use a percentage here, I can use other things. I can also look at, for example, saying I probably want to have maybe a little bit of padding on each side. That way I don't have my text going right up against that border. And I'm just going to use a 10 pixel width padding. As you notice, this now makes it a lot easier to read. And I'm not having to scroll back and forth so much when I'm reading it. So I can look at something like this and making a width. Um, I can also, if I want to keep it from being quite so wide, because I don't know how wide my browser window is going to be, or if someone has a really wide, wide screen, I can add a new property in here. And I'm going to call this max width. And max width is just says, okay, we're going to take our width up to 80% as long as it doesn't go wider than. In this case, I'm just going to simply put 960 pixels. Now, when I did that and reloaded, 
you're going to notice that my area is now more narrow. And that's simply because 80% was too wide. We hit that max width. And I can go and I can change that value to be anything I wanted. I just chose 960 as an example. So this gives us a lot of flexibility in how we can style our content. And it's going to provide some meaningful uses to search engines, to uh, text readers, and other types of browsing environments that are out there.